All right, seventh grade, so we have our guitar that's all drawn out. We have our primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. Those are the only colors you're allowed to get. When we put our paint in the paint tray, we have already learned that we only take a little bit, enough to just fill up the well a little bit. And if the saran wrap's making it a little messy, that's okay. So we're gonna set that aside. You can get another plain well that we will blend our colors in and you'll need a bucket of water to rinse in between your primary mixing. So I'm gonna lay that there and we're gonna begin color mixing. So the first thing we're gonna mix is our red and our yellow to start making the oranges. So the first thing I'm gonna do is start to paint the red in. So we're gonna grab the red. We're going to carefully paint inside of the lines that we drew and make sure that our craftsmanship is really good. That means no messy strokes, no going outside of the lines in a crazy pattern, no splattering, no dripping. We want to make sure that it's nice and neat so that we can see the difference between the colors. So the first one's really easy, super easy. It's just red. So once you get the red covered in, and we don't jam the paintbrush down like this, we are going back and forth in smooth strokes so that when the paint dries, it looks nice and uniform. So we're painting and making sure we fill in all the spaces and going back and forth. All right, so one down. So when we get to the red orange, we're going to mix a little bit of yellow in with our red. So I'm gonna take some red and put it into my plain well and take a little bit of yellow from the side so I don't make a huge mess of the yellow. And I start to mix the yellow into the red to make more of a red orange. So if that's looking still too red, then we wanna add a little bit more yellow. And that will give us a red orange for the next triangle of our guitar. So I'm gonna paint that very carefully like I did the first one. And you can see that the paper doesn't hold that much paint. So we don't need a lot of paint. You just use the paintbrush to push the paint around. And this is all the paint that I need to do one single triangle. Many of you get way too much paint for a 30 minute period and then it ends up going down the drain. So we don't wanna do that. All right, so now we have red and red orange. It's a little bit lighter, you can see. And then we want orange. So I'm taking the same well and I'm just gonna keep adding more yellow to it so that I can make a really nice orange. So there's my orange, it looks really good. And again, this is all the paint you need to do one triangle. You don't need overflowed paint. So we're gonna take that orange and we're gonna paint inside of that triangle as neatly as we did the other ones. And you see, I haven't rinsed my paintbrush out yet. I haven't needed to because I'm just adding the yellow to the red as I go. And now we have the red, red, orange, and orange. So now when we want orange yellow, we're still taking that same orange and we just keep adding more yellow. So it's gonna be a lighter version of my orange. So I bring that in and you should notice that it's lighter than the orange. And it's okay if you're seeing the little letters showing through your paint, that's totally fine. That's not gonna make your grade go down or anything. We just need one coat. So we have red, red, orange, 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 yellow. Now I need to rinse my brush to get a pure yellow, otherwise it's gonna be a hot mess. So I'm gonna rinse my brush off. When we rinse, we just swirl it around and drag it along the side so it's not dripping everywhere. And then I'm gonna take my yellow that's still clean here and use that for the yellow. And again, whatever's on my paintbrush is pretty much all I need to paint this huge section right here. Paper does not hold a lot of paint. Walls hold a lot of paint. Cardboard holds a lot of paint, but paper does not. So we don't want holes in our paper, see? I don't need a lot of paint. 
red, red, orange, 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 yellow, yellow, and now we want yellow, green. So now I can take some of this yellow and put it into another section here and add a teeny tiny bit of blue, like a teeny bit, because we just want it to be a little green with yellow. So this is gonna be a yellow green. And that's a good amount, like I'm gonna go back into my yellow. That's a good yellow green. So I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna paint this section yellow green because yellow and blue make green. So you're seeing that with the primary colors, you can make every single shade of every color, except black and white. So there's my yellow and yellow green. Now I need regular green. So in order to make green, I'm gonna take my blue and put it into my yellow. And that's gonna give me a really good green. And then I'm gonna use all that to paint the green. Look at that, really good grassy green. And again, I have enough paint on my brush to paint this whole section. Just keep remembering that. Paper does not hold a lot of paint. So if you're painting, you don't need a lot of paint. If you do, you can go back for more, but it's hard to put it back in the bottle once we have it out. So there's my green. I'm smoothing out the strokes to make sure that it's nice and even. So now we have our red, red, orange, 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 yellow, 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 green, and green. Now we want a green blue. So we're gonna take this green we already made and we're gonna add a little bit more blue into it to make it a darker green blue. And see how beautiful that is? Just a tiny bit of blue makes this really nice green blue, like a tiny bit. It makes like an ocean blue. So then that's gonna be our green blue which is pretty much my favorite color. Like that teal color that you see. And again, just push the brush into the paper and move the paint around with your brush. One of the tricks you can do too, is if you're kind of drawing out on your brush, just dip it in the water for a second, tap and grab the rest of your paint. And that'll help thin your paint out to move it around on your paper but not too much water that you're scrubbing and putting a big hole in the paper. All right, so then we have our green blue. Pushing the brush around. And if I look at it and I say, well, this, is, does, this just doesn't seem to have enough blue. So I'm gonna add like a teeny tiny bit more and I can always just like add it in on top and blend it in on the paper and that looks perfect. So now we have our yellow greens to greens and the green blue. And now we're gonna rinse our paintbrush off to get the pure blue. Because no other color can make blue. Blue is a primary. So I'm gonna tap it off, use the blue, just pure blue. And I'm gonna come in and paint my blue. Good craftsmanship. Push the brush into the paper, smooth strokes. Just spread the paint out. You always want smooth strokes, unless you're trying to do a project that is splatter painting or galaxy painting or when you have to make strokes that are not smooth. All right, so there's my blue. That looks good. I'm gonna put a teeny bit of blue right along the edge so I don't have that light color there. Perfect, okay, so I still have blue on my brush. Blue, purple. So in order to make blue purple, you're gonna take your blue, put it in the extra well, and add a teeny tiny bit of red. Because red and blue make purple. But this is gonna be a blue purple. So you wanna see a purple that has a lot more blue in it than red. And then we're gonna, that's gonna be like one of the darkest colors that you have. So we're gonna smoothly stroke. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to my brush, push it around. And if I notice that there's too much blue, then I'll go back in and put a little bit of red on top. Okay. 
So I'm saying I need a little more paint. So I'm going to put that blue with the red again. And I'm going to add some more of that. Take your time. Don't rush. Rushing equals messy. Messy equals knock down a grade. So you want to get a really good grade for neatness. I'm going to get a little bit of water. Spread that out. So there's our purple blue. Now we need straight purple. So we're going to take the blue that we have and add more red to it. Like that. This is going to be really dark. But it's going to be as close to purple as we can make it. Like that. So there's your dark purple. Again, if you look at it and you're like, hey, that looks too blue and not enough red, then add more red to it while it's on the paper, while it's wet. The best part of painting is like mixing on the paper while it's still wet. So I could take, I can take a little bit of red and I can blend it in and just mix it in while it's wet. And if you mess up, let it dry. If I messed up on this, I could have come around here and let that dry and go back to it and try to go over it again. So now we have our purple and then we need purple red. So now we're gonna add even more red to the purple we already made. So we have this dark purple. And I'm gonna take like the rest of my red and I'm gonna put it into that to make it really red. So it'll be a little bit lighter than the purple but it still has purple in it and that's gonna be our purple red. And you can see it has more red than purple. It's all about seeing the colors with your eyes to notice if something is orange yellow or yellow orange. Like which one comes first, which one's lighter. So then we have that. <clears throat> so now we're done. Red, red, orange, orange. Orange, yellow, yellow. Yellow, green, green. Green, blue, blue. Blue, purple, purple. And purple, red. So we have completed the color wheel for our guitar.